Welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python package for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. And in today's session, we're going to be discussing how limit profiles and mixtures interact. In the previous two videos, we've looked at limit profiles and then mixed severity distributions. And here we're going to explain a couple of different ways that you can interact the two. So as always, uh, import uh, build and QD from aggregate. And uh, let's just go back and review uh, with the Q show from the knowledge. Last time uh, we looked at uh, the limits. So here we can vary uh, limits and attachments, and we can vary the exposure by limit and attachment point using this sort of vector notation here. So this is 10 claims each from unlimited x of 0, 10x of 0, unlimited x of 5, and 10x of 5 all with the same uh, severity curve. And what we want to move to now is looking at doing that, but with a potentially mixed um, severity distribution. So I want to focus here on uh, number seven, um, blend seven. This is a good good uh, example. So we can, um, we can build blend seven um, using uh, build.show. And I'm going to do a slightly different, um, uh, so it's going to be i.blend07. And then I want to give it uh, an argument. You can say return df, and then it will return for you um, the uh, constructed aggregate element, which we'll just call a, and a little data frame um, of information about that so that we can uh, you can use that down the road. Okay, so what's going on here is we've got um, 10 claims of 100x0, 20 claims of 200x50, and 30 claims of 75x75, all from a log normal distribution that's a mixed log normal with a mean of 100 and a CV of 1 and 2, and it's a 60-40 weighted average of those two. So the sort of less extreme and... Uh, more extreme uh, business in there. And then we've got a mixed gamma uh, frequency distribution. So remember the mixing variable on the uh, Poisson is shared across the log normal components. So you're getting sort of some correlation between the bits. It's not modeling them all out as independent uh, pieces. We look at our validation uh, where we've got 60 claims. So 10 plus 20 plus 30, 60 claims. The average severity is 61. The expected loss is 36.73. Uh, the CV of the aggregate 43% is always going to be a bit more than the 40% uh, that we're showing there. We've got some, you know, some, some severity risk in there as well. This is a sort of somewhat skewed uh, distribution. Uh, it's recomputing with a balance BS of a, a quarter, and the validation is coming back as you know, unreasonable. So that's looking pretty good. Now, this version, uh, it, like I said, it's going to return uh, some information. We only built one here, so it's just going to be one aggregate object and a little data frame. If you run a show uh, and it produces multiple objects, this data frame would be a summary of everything that you created. It would show you the name, the DECL uh, program that created it, and then some information about how it was uh, recomputed, and then the ag theoretical uh, mean CV and standard deviation and the empir empirical mean CV and uh, standard deviation. And we can look at our, uh, the object. If we just QD the object, that'll just get us back to what we had uh, before uh, with, the, with the diagnostics. Now, uh, we looked when we did mixtures at the report data frame. So that shows us how uh, it's computing. And what we see here is the report data frame shows that we've actually got six components in our mixture, all right? And what those six components are is um, they are the three limit bands times the two uh, mixture components on the severity. So it's, it's like you've got a single severity that happens in this case to be a mixed severity. You've got three limit bands, and it's going to do the kind of outer product of those two to give us uh, six things overall. And remember the... Uh, Weighting on the severity is 6040. So if we go down here and we look at the report data frame, uh, we see frequency. So the first bucket, uh, the first bucket of limits had uh, a claim count of 10. 
and it's 60 40 split between the lower uh, CV and the higher CV. So here's your severity CV 44 and 68 and it's 60 uh, 40. Then we had 20 claims. So we're going to get 12 and 8 and the CV of uh, the severity goes goes up slightly. And then we had 30 claims here. So we're going to get uh, 18 and 12 components. And then overall, you're going to get 60. So the sum of all of these individual uh, frequency components is going to give you the 60 that uh, you, you are asked for. And again, uh, the difference between the independent column and the mixed column, the independent column is looking at these six components. They've all got individual aggregate distributions. And if you added them up as though they were independent, uh, you would get a mean of 3673, which is correct. But you get a lot of diversification between the components. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want the aggregate distribution to depend on how you model it. You want to specify it first and, and have it sort of be independent of uh, the mechanics of computation. In this case, um, if you added them up independently, because of the six components, so much diversification between them, the CV would be only 24%. If we share the mixing variable, so they all have a higher frequency outcome or a lower frequency outcome together, then the uh, overall CV is 43.1%, uh, which is what we're expecting to get here. And you see the, you know, the skewness as well, 80, 80.5. Um, much higher than the skewness uh, if they were added up independently. So the mix is the, the theoretical with the shared mixing variable. The empirical column then shows what aggregate actually produced and the errors are very low. So this is a, this is a great little uh, model of this. So what I want to do now, though, is it may be that, in fact, the way you want to model this is you want to think of this as I've got uh, three different classes of business in here that are potentially written with different limit profiles, and they've got three different severities. So I don't want to interpret the severity as a mixture. I want to interpret it as three different severities for different subclasses of uh, business. So I want to go ahead and uh, build, build that out. So we're going to do uh, A2 build, and this is going to be kind of a long uh, construction. In fact, what we can do is we can edit uh, 07 here. So let's take this, copy this, and this will actually show another way we can uh, input. You can input aggregate programs in uh, multiple lines um, if you use the line continuation uh, break. So there's a, you know, the, the Python uh, new line is uh, has the same effect. So let's call this um, uh, blend uh, uh, blend X, okay? And we want to have the same 10, 20, 30 claims excess of uh, here, but we want the severity to be different. And we want we're going to have the same mixed uh, gamma, and we close that up, okay? So we need to put a new line continuation here and a new line continuation here. But what we want to have on the severity is we want to have three different severities. And I want to assume, let's say that the severities are 20, 40, and the 100, and that the CVs are, let's say, 1, 1, and 2. And then in order for this to sort of look through and interpret, all right, the first limit band with the first severity, the second limit band with the second severity, you don't put a weights clause on that. And that's the trigger that tells aggregate that this isn't a weighted severity and it should sort of read it all as, as kind of one line and match up first 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 second 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 and so forth so let's see uh if i've typed that incorrectly and it builds yep okay so that's looking good uh we still get 60 claims because we asked for uh, 60 claims here so that hasn't changed but the severity distribution and the interpretation of the severity has uh changed now we're seeing here this fails validation for the usual reasons uh, it's updating with BS equals an eighth. Let's update it with BS equals a quarter and see if that fixes the problem. Yes, it does. Beautiful. We get the same uh, error on the um, aggregate as the uh, severity. So that's exactly what we're looking for. And now let's look at our report um, data frame here. So now we see there's only three components, which is what we wanted because we, we're thinking we've broken the book into three pieces. Each piece has its own claim count, its own uh, limit, and its own attachment, and its own uh, severity curve. 
and you know frequency 10 20 30 um we input uh frequency means of um uh, 20 40 and 100 but we've got you know different uh limit and attachments so the achieved uh, severity uh, varies here again independent sum that's just there kind of for reference the one you're going to use is the mixed and we're picking up more or less the same cv 43 percent and we're nailing that uh with the aggregate um, you can here, if you want, um, decide that you would like some different distributions. So if you want the first two, say, to be gamma, and then the last one to be log normal, and maybe, you know, do you think that's actually kind of a lot more of a, you know, variable, um, we can certainly do something like this. Um, and it's still uh, recomputing correctly. So you can uh, change the um, distribution type, the mean, the CV. And if you use the format where you're going to use a scaling variable and a um, shape parameter and a uh, location parameter, you can vectorize all of those as well. So the whole thing can be vectorized. And the key is not to include a weight uh, clause. That then tips it off that it, it looks through. And it is going to expect if you've got three components to your limit profile here or three sets of claims, it is going to expect that you have three uh, severity components to go with that. And then I should also point out this um, is, you know, you don't have to have limits and attachments. If you wanted everything to be unlimited, you could do that. Um, validation's failing now because uh, it will probably need a much bigger uh, bound, uh, much bigger uh, bucket size. Yeah, you see it's gone to one. This one's gonna be a bit more tricky. Um, it's somewhat unrealistic to write unlimited uh, business, but you don't need the, the um, different components. In fact, you don't even need here, uh, we could just say, you know, 100 claims of, you know, let's say 1,000 excess of zero. Uh, we could do that as well. And um, then we've just got the one component. But if we run the uh, report DF, you're going to have the three components here that are going to correspond to the three uh, distribution types that you have. So very flexible uh, way to specify your aggregate with a mixture of severities different limit profiles, and then two ways of interacting the limit profile and the mixture. One where the, the severity is a mixture. So for example, uh, rating agencies in the US use the mixture of exponential distributions as a severity curve. There you want to interpret it as a mixture, but you might also be regarding it as subcomponents of your book of business. And you want each component to have a different distribution function with different parameters. And you can do that too. So that's uh, all for this video. Thank you.